Hello, I am Aviva Lee, reporting live in Jerusalem from room 552 for Israel 24-6 TV. Today is the 2nd of March 2008 and a few hours ago I received the text of Prime Minister Ehud Olmert's comments about the escalation in terrorism and the response which those terrorists may expect from the sovereign state of Israel. Those comments were made today at the Prime Minister's weekly cabinet meeting. <clears throat> Following an introductory statement about the nature of the escalation in Gaza, the Prime Minister had this to say, and I quote, It must be clear, the State of Israel has no intention of halting counter-terrorism actions even for a second. If somebody thinks that by extending the rocket's range he will succeed in deterring us from our activity, he is gravely mistaken. We will act in accordance with the outline that the government will decide on, with the means that we decide on, at the timing we decide on, with the strength we decide on, without respite, in order to strike at the terrorist organizations Hamas, Islamic Jihad, and the others, including their leaders, those who dispatch them, those who provide their weapons, those who allow them to act in given places, according to the outline that we will choose. I have recently heard criticism and claims that civilians are being hurt, that the State of Israel is using too much force. I do not recall that some of those making these claims have, over the years, said that the situation in the South was intolerable and that measures had to be taken to put a stop to it. It must be noted that the State of Israel defends its residents in the South and that, with all due respect, nothing will deter us from continuing to defend our residents. Nobody has the right to preach morality to the State of Israel for taking basic action to defend itself and prevent hundreds of thousands of residents of the South from continuing to be exposed to incessant firing that disrupts their lives. I am encouraged by the residents of the South. I spoke with the mayors of Sderot and Ashkelon over the weekend and I felt that there was great determination, fortitude, and appreciation for the untiring actions of the Israel Defense Forces and the Security Forces. Today and in the coming days, we will hold security discussions, including a cabinet discussion on Wednesday, in order to consider ways in which the security forces can operate. Naturally, we are interested in continuing the diplomatic negotiations. When the diplomatic negotiations began, we made it clear that they would not in any way be conducted at the expense of our right to defend the residents of Israel against the intolerable actions of the terrorist organizations. Nobody in the world would deny that striking at Hamas strengthens the chance for peace. The more that Hamas is hit, the greater the chances of reaching a diplomatic agreement and peace." End quote. Prime Minister Ehud Olmert also officially acknowledged the two Israeli soldiers who gave their lives in combat this past Shabbat defending the sovereign state of Israel from a terrorist onslaught. And I am Aviva Lee, reporting live in Jerusalem from room 552 for Israel 246 TV. Thank you and Shalom.